This is the Bronco that is available from Bolton e-bikes and here is the stock seat. Some people find that a little bit hard and uncomfortable. Now if I was to ride this bike to say the grocery store, there's one other problem and that is I don't have a lock currently on the bike. So I'm going to try and install one product that's going to solve both problems, give me a more comfortable seat I hope and a bike lock at the same time. There's a good chance you may have seen this before. It is called the CD lock. Nope, that is the actual name. It is a seat and a bicycle lock all at the same time. Now they did reach out to me and send me this bicycle seat for free. However, as most of you know, if I don't like a product, then I will tell you I don't like it and to just don't buy it. I don't like it. Still in the packaging, I have not even opened it other than just looking at it out of the box, the shipping box that it came in. I'm going to go ahead and install this on the Bronco bike here, see how the seat compares to what came on the bike, if there's any challenges with getting it on there or any issues, and then of course see how well does it work as a bicycle lock. Now this isn't a lock picking type review. You can go find one of those on the CD lock elsewhere. I did look up a couple of those before I started this so I can tell that based on what I've seen it looks to be a pretty decent quality lock. I don't think you'd have any concerns about it being picked. Of course, like any lock, if somebody has a big enough set of bolt cutters or a big enough tool, they can cut through just about any lock. But this one looks to be pretty good as far as that goes. I'm going to leave that up to the lock picking experts. So I want to know, does it make a good bicycle seat and is it actually practical to use as a lock? Because to me, that's one of the most important things. Is this a lock that's easy to carry? Well, it's part of the seat, so that should be a no-brainer. But is it actually easy to use? So I've got the seat out of the packaging. It looks fairly simple. There's just this seat and then this clamp right here that holds the seat on. These are standard seat rails, so this should bolt right on to the seat post. Since this is an item I got for free, I'm going to stick to my usual tradition for free items and give the seat away after I'm done with this video, whether I like it or not. So leave a comment below if you want to win the bicycle CD lock. Is it a seat? Is it a bicycle lock? Yes, it is. Leave a comment below. Tell me what bike you would put this on if you want it, and I'll randomly pick somebody from the comments. I just popped the clamp on just to take a look at it. And at first glance, it looks pretty secure. One of my worries was that the seat might be kind of wobbly because of all the stuff going on here, but it looks okay. We'll stick it on the bike and see what happens. It definitely is heavier than the standard seat that came off, but if you're combining a seat and a lock, that's to be expected. I think it would be interesting to weigh this and see what weighs more, a lock and a seat, or a seat that's a lock. So if we go to CD Lock's website, wouldn't the weight of CD Lock affect by red? Let's look at the weight of CD Lock in comparison to the total weight of other locks and seats. Guess what? The total weight of CD Lock 1.3 kilograms saddle type dependency, of course, is less than the average combined weight of the 90% of the top saddles and locks combined. So there you have it. It's usually lighter. In the end, I don't think that really matters that much on an e-bike. One possible downside I could see to this CD lock is this height here. If you have a bike where due to your height, you have the seat position all the way down nice close to the frame. In other words, if your seat post is as down as low as it could possibly be, 
you won't be able to get your seat as low as normal. So because the Bronco, for example, comes with the suspension seat post, that is all the way down. Now for some people, that might not work. Now we could change to a standard seat post. It's not a suspension post on this particular bike, get it down a little bit lower, but that is something to be aware of. The seat's gonna add about this much to the height and you don't get that back. If you have the seat in the mid to upper range, it's really not gonna be a problem. When I first heard about this, I thought the process of taking this off and putting it back on the bike would be a little bit cumbersome or complicated, but this is how easy it actually is. This is pretty impressive to me. It slides in and there's a quick release right here. That's it. Easy. Give you a close up. Here's the quick release. Undo that, seat pops off. That's all there is to it. Now it is a lock. Comes with three keys and there is also a little card which on the back side of this has a code and that has a key duplication number on it. So it looks like if you hang on to this, if you ever lose your keys, you can contact them to get a replacement made. That's pretty handy. I think the most important thing to do on this first is to go take this for a ride and see how does it feel as a seat? because in my mind, if it doesn't make a good seat, then I don't care how good of a lock it is. Seats can be very subjective. To me, that's a potential downside is if you're combining your seat and your lock, you just kind of locked yourself in <laughs> to a certain style of seat and you can't change it from here. But if it's comfortable, then who cares? I'm cruising over to the airport here because I'm curious if any of the spotter planes for the fires are up here because they use the OV10 Broncos, which is what this bike is named after. So it'd be cool if I could get a picture of the Bronco next to a Bronco. This is the Bronco bicycle. That's the Bronco airplane. Okay, so I found a nice spot to park the bike for a little bit. Let's pop the seat off and see how hard is it to lock this thing up. We just have to insert the key like any other lock. We have a pin that comes out. This is very similar as far as how the actual mechanical parts work to the folding lock that I have on my side already. So I like that part of it. The bike doesn't even look locked up because I put it on the other side here. This is off of there. I, I do kind of see that as a benefit. From a distance, it looks like you've removed your seat. I really don't think anybody's gonna steal the bottom base of this. It just, it looks useless. So not too concerned about that. The seat itself, you do have to be a little careful about where you position it so you don't get it scratched up, putting it on you know, the concrete or on the ground. But overall, it, it works and honestly it seems secure, which is the most important part. In short, it's a little bit easier to use than I thought it would be. It comes off very easy. Getting it around, of course, the frame and a bars or a post, that's always gonna be a little bit different depending on your bike and what exactly you're locking it to. But at the end of the day, it gets the job done. As a seat, it is perfectly comfortable. The only limitation I see is that it does add some height. So if you have your seat positioned such that you have to have it all the way down on your bike, it might not work for you. But as long as that's not a problem or a conflict, it's, it's a perfectly comfortable bike seat. And I think it would do just fine for, for daily riding. Uh, as far as the lock, lock is also pretty good. I think if I had to choose one over the other, it makes, if I can, 
This is the opposite of what I expected. I think it makes a better seat than it does a lock because when you're riding the bike, you don't have to think about it. It's just there, it's a seat. It does everything a normal bicycle seat should do. However, as a lock, it's a little bit more clunky because imagine trying to use your regular bicycle lock with a seat that's attached to it. <laughs> so I hope that helps, but it works and it, and it works great, honestly. At the end of the day, the question is, would I put this seat on one of my bikes? And to me, this is a really big convenience item. It's always there. It's tucked underneath the seat. It's out of the way. I don't have to find another spot to put it. But if I'm riding around and I said I was gonna go around the block and I end up going to the store instead, because let's face it, if you have an e-bike, you've probably done that. This makes sense because you don't have to think about it. It's like I said, it's just convenient because it's always there. As a seat, I don't mind it at all. As a lock, it's a little bit cumbersome because it's, uh, just imagine having your own bicycle lock and strapping a seat to it and trying to work with it. This can solve a few issues, but I can see that this may not be for everybody. I certainly give it a pass. I think the quality is good and I'm gonna put a link in the description to a place where you can buy one. Some of you may have noticed the new Bolton Labs t-shirt I'm wearing and no, you cannot buy one of these. I will not let you. However, You'll see there's a join button down below. Those who are members, I have offered this shirt for free. That's right, if you go join the membership, there are other perks that are available there. You get extra videos that everyone else doesn't get. There's other new product announcements and things you get to kind of see ahead of time. But if you join, I will send you one of these t-shirts for free. Thanks again for watching another video from Bolton E-Bikes. I appreciate all of my viewers. Don't forget to leave a comment below if you want to win the CD lock. That's right, this one right here, like this, this exact one. I'm gonna pull it back off the bike and ship it to someone randomly in the comments. Let me know what bike would you put that on and I will pick somebody in the near future. Thanks again, I'll see you on another Thursday for another video.